Hi guys, it's Paul from Unsung Angler and today we're going to tie a Frenchie. Typically this fly is tied on a jig style hook, but today we're going to tie this on a size 16 standard nymph hook with a 332nd inch bead. For a full list of the materials, please check the description below. So I already have the bead on and the hook in the vise. What I'll do next is a few wraps of some light wire lead. And what this will do is help hold that bead in place on the front of the hook. So I typically don't weight any of my flies, so I don't want to put too much lead on this, but this is one fly that I'll frequently fish underneath the dry for a dropper. So now we'll put our thread on. We're using fluorescent orange thread. And we'll advance that forward to help push that lead up into the bead. Next we'll take our thread to the bend of the hook. Okay, so next, next we'll take five or six pheasant tail fibers for the tail. Tie those in. What I like to do is put a couple loose wraps. To me that seems a little long right now. And then just give it a nice easy pull until you get your tail right where you want it and then just secure it. A few more wraps and we're good. I'll take my thread forward. Next step I'll do is tie in copper wire. And for the body, I'll, I'll take at least eight pheasant tail fibers for the body. So once I get my fibers for my body, I will cut just the tips off and we will get those tied in. Take our thread forward. So this is the tool I typically use when I need to tie anything with pheasant tail. It's great. It just clamps, clamps on the pheasant tail and really makes it easier to advance your, th advance your pheasant tail up the fly. So I'll give mine a couple wraps. I'll twist the, the pheasant tail and now I will, as I wrap, keep twisting it forward till I get just behind the bead. I don't want to crowd the bead too much at this point because I'm going to put some dubbing in so at this point I'll just tie that off. A few wraps. Trim that off. A few more wraps to secure. Next I'll take my copper wire, advance that forward, and tie off. So one thing I do is I keep an old pair of scissors. I've had these for God knows how long. I'll use them for maybe some big, big pieces of deer hair, but these are my old scissors that I use to cut any kind of copper wire or anything like that. Save your better scissors for your mater your finer materials. So once I get to this point, this is where I can modify the fly depending on what hatch I fish. If I'm fishing a bluing olive hatch, I'll tie these in size 20s and 18s, and I'll put bluing olive dubbing here. Uh, this fly is going to be for a PMD hatch, so I'm just going to tie some uh, PMD super fine dubbing in behind the head. And I've tied them for Hendrickson's in size 12s with some pink dubbing and they all seem to work. So one thing to consider when you're tying this, you can use different variations of pheasant tail and dubbing and really make this a very versatile bug. So I'm gonna put, get my yellow dubbing. A few wraps right behind the bead. And that's it. And then a few more wraps to give it an orange hot spot. Don't go too much. Let me back that off because I'm going to give it 
a few with my whip finish, so. So three, two, three more. Secure that. Cut that off and there you have it. The Frenchie. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button. If there's any flies you want to see me tie, please put it in the comments below. And thanks again for watching.